Welcome to Wrenchway Weekly, the show where we get to talk about the industry's hottest topics, the hot button issues that everybody wants to hear about. We get to highlight the voice of technicians and really what they're thinking and, and get a pulse of the industry from that side and that point of view and, and really take all of that information and, and move it back and be able to educate and, and tell people what we're seeing and what we're getting for results. This is our second episode. I'm really excited about this episode because the first episode was really about talking about what we're doing as a show. This one, we get to dive right into the meat of things. We, we really get to dive into what, that, uh, what the subject is and what the subject matter is. And we're gonna do that right now. This week's topic was definitely a hot button topic, right? It was one where we put a poll out on LinkedIn and we asked, are warranty repayment rates for technicians fair? And we knew we'd get kind of a wide range of responses, but we had a, a just a great amount of feedback on, on the poll. Uh, that came in the form of votes, that came in the form of comments, and it was just really cool kind of to see everything. So in total, we had 218 votes, uh, of which 90% voted no, that they did not feel that warranty repayment rates for technicians were fair. Uh, we had 10% that voted yes, that did think they were fair. And it was really interesting because we had uh, over 7,000 views on the post. Only 218 actually responded to the poll, but that really shows there's a lot of people really interested in what this topic was. And, and I think we're, we're going to see that as a theme moving forward. There were also 100 comments. A uh, hundred comments of people that really were interested in hearing other people's side of the story. They were interested in kind of giving their opinion and different viewpoints, right? So you had technicians, factory reps, owners, uh, uh, fixed ops directors, whoever it was. There were a lot of different viewpoints and I thought that brought a lot of good to the equation. I did break down the votes um, of the yes votes, which there were a total of 22. Seven were listed as either a technician, a mechanic, or a foreman, right? So really boots on the ground, folks. Uh, that's a total of 32% of the vote for those that voted yes. And of the no votes that said, hey, this maybe isn't fair to technicians, 85 were listed as technician, mechanic, or foreman. And so that was at almost half, that was 43% of the votes on that side. So uh, some really interesting data out of that. My personal opinion is that there's some different viewpoints, and I think I get all the viewpoints, right? From a manufacturer's level, you don't want to go broke by overpaying for warranty repairs. It can be a challenge from the, from the dealership standpoint. Again, you don't want to go broke from paying for warranty repairs and not getting reimbursed from the manufacturer. And from the technician side, it's very much of, I'm trying to take care of my family. I'm trying to take, you know, put food on the table. And so I, when I see that I'm getting shorted on warranty rates, I don't like it. And so there, there were some great comments, great dialogue on, on what all that meant. And I think there's just some level of communication that's needed. There's some transparency from the manufacturer that I think would help a lot in you know, really explaining, this is how we come to uh, determine the labor rates. And, and I think there's, there's really easy ways to do that. I do think some manufacturers do it. Uh, but there's still some level of maybe distrust or disconnect there. So uh, for your manufacturers out there, the one thing that I saw that I think would be really, really helpful is, is really giving tutorials on how you come up with warranty rates and, and being able to get that to the technician and not be BS, right? Have it be real information of this is truly how we came up with it. We did some time studies. We did, uh, we did have a technician come out and do it. And, maybe it really was with all the tools set out and everything was lined up really nice and there was no diagnostic work, really understanding that piece and, and showing a technician. Maybe do a video on how you, can, how you come up with uh, a diagnostic uh, a labor rate time, uh, not diagnostic, a, a labor rate, a warranty labor rate time in general. From the dealership standpoint, put your techs in a good, in a good spot, right? Uh, make sure that they're not spending uh, an overly crazy amount on diagnostics or if they're getting their butts kicked, try to help them out. Uh, but at the same time, demand that, that stuff from the manufacturer. You know, we need more transparency on how the process works. 
And if we're not writing up warranty repair orders in the right way, in the right fashion, maybe that's impacting both the manufacturer and the the uh, technician. From my experience as a on the manufacturing end, one of the things that was fascinating to me when talking to the uh, warranty department was that th they're trying to get reimbursed from the vendor that they got the part from. Not all parts are made at the manufacturer, right? So really being able to tell a story through their eyes and being able to see that, hey, if we don't have a good story, it's gonna be hard for us to get reimbursed. And again, to, to stop from possibly going broke, we need to explain that story. Uh, from a technician's, uh, I guess, view and, and my opinion on, on the technician side is, take some time to understand what the dealerships and the manufacturers are trying to tell you, right? And if there's a if there's something where you're just constantly getting your butt kicked on in terms of a, a warranty job, make sure you're giving data back to them so they can see it, right? If you just sign off on it and say, hey, you know what, I got paid X amount on this one, I'm gonna cut my losses and just move on. A manufacturer is gonna look at it and say, okay, this took this amount of time. You know, if somebody's doing warranty evaluation, they're going to look at it and say, it took this much amount of time. If you can invest a little bit of time in giving feedback back, it can help drive the industry better, right? And it can help give more accurate times to those manufacturers to, to, to really uh, get the data that they need and the real accurate data. So uh, to me, it's a one big communication issue. Um, I, I think there, there's a long way to go. I do think we've made some progress, but I, we need to get the two sides. And when I say two sides, I really talk about manufacturer and technician. We need to be able to get them talking proactively and, and really get to understand one another and what, what technicians like about the program, what they hate about the program, what manufacturers love about the program, what they hate about the program, and, and really talk through it. So uh, hopefully we can drive some of that with some of the stuff that we're doing. Um, so I'd love to get your feedback on it. Uh, we, we really, uh, this whole show is based on feedback, right? This whole show is, I, I can give my opinions uh, but it really comes from you and, and really that that subject matter and those comments and that that I'm educating myself as well. So it's nice to get that data, get those comments and really kind of combine everything and, and have a, an informed opinion. But I still want your feedback. I still want to know what you think about it and and where we could improve as an industry. And so to, to kind of transition into that next piece, we'll talk about what our next our next topic for next week is in just a little bit. But you're able to do this uh, by joining our Wrenchway Insiders program, right? And it's not just some promo it, it, that you're not getting anything out of. Uh, we're we're giving away prizes, and and it was cool to see people signing up for Wrenchway Insiders. And I think they see that it really is a safe space where you can give your opinion and not have ramifications for it, right? So uh, if you get a chance, uh, check out the link uh, below. We'll get you out there, get you signed up. There's no obligation. We're not gonna harass you in terms of the recruiting side. Uh, it's really, really a, a nice safe spot for you to go. Um, and, and really, as we move forward, I think we'll combine both LinkedIn and uh, the Wrenchway Insiders program to help drive as much feedback as we can. Uh, as part of this program, we talked about it last week, we draw a prize winner uh, for, uh, for giving feedback and for joining Wrenchway Insiders. So join, join Wrenchway Insiders, um, give us feedback, and, uh, and really, if you're giving feedback, do it on Wrenchway Insiders because then you're eligible for a prize. If you do it on LinkedIn, you're not going to be eligible for it. Uh, so just go to wrenchway.com slash Wrenchway Insiders, Wrenchway-Insiders. And so I'm excited for this week's drawing uh, of who we drew for uh, for the first ever winner of the Wrenchway Insiders program. It's for a $50 Snap-on gift card. And that, uh, that person, uh, that individual that we drew was Mike Baldwin. Uh, Mike Baldwin uh, works at CarMax in the greater Denver area. Uh, and I've, I've seen him uh, comment on a whole bunch of stuff. He's, he's a great guy. Uh, so I was happy to see that. And... Um, for next week's topic, uh, this is what we're going to be asking for that feedback on, right? So in order to be eligible for it, we want you to go on to Wrenchway Insiders and, and give us feedback. 
The next week's topic is, as a technician, do you feel like your voice is heard by management? We've already put the poll question out on LinkedIn, uh, already getting a very, very solid response. I look forward to uh, really reviewing those comments and then uh, being able to use Wrenchway Insiders to really dive in even further on that data. So we'd love to hear your feedback on it. Uh, once you get signed up for Wrenchway Insiders, we'll be sending out a quick one question survey to our insiders group, our Wrenchway Insiders group, right after this video, right? So as soon as this video hits, uh, we're going to be launching that. And uh, so again, head to wrenchway.com forward slash wrenchway dash insiders uh, to provide the feedback and to be entered in to win this drawing. We're going to do this drawing every week. So uh, definitely encourage you to get on that. Uh, other than that, I think this show and, and really the, the hot button topics that we're talking about has been pretty well received. I thank all of you so much for being a part of this and, and really look forward to, to trying to drive more change and drive more understanding across the board so we can help make this industry better. And I, I really, really appreciate that. Thanks again. Get signed up for Runchway Insiders. I think it'll be really, really helpful for you. Take care.